this year we are celebrating the 40th anniversary of the first troop of uh, female recruits that arrived here in Depot uh, in September 1974. And uh, these would be 32 women, the first 32 to serve uh, in the Mounted Police. And they broke a lot of new ground, created a lot of new paths, opened doors not only for women but for um, diverse groups. The force hadn't been accepting married men up until that same year, so the women helped open the door for them as well as for other cultural groups, Aboriginal uh, recruits, um, Sikh recruits and so forth. So this year um, we are celebrating that accomplishment, we're celebrating that first troop, we are displaying some of the um, first uniforms that were issued to the women and we're tracing some of their journeys through the force, um, recognizing our first female sergeant major, some of the work that uh, our female members have done with overseas work, and of course our first female commissioner, Beverly Busson. We did try to tell a little bit about what went before, and one of the most famous parts of that is what we know today uh, within the force as the second man. In other words, the wives who accompanied their husbands, um, often on very isolated uh, detachments. And they ended up serving in many respects as another police officer, another constable. They helped with um, you know, looking after prisoners, they helped with feeding prisoners, they cleaned up the detachment, the cells, they answered the phone, they sent their husband out on uh, calls uh, for assistance. So you know, in many ways the women, uh, the wives in this case, um, contributed uh, uh, extra manpower, um, regrettably not always recognized at the time, but certainly today it's something that we realize those early constables couldn't have done it without the assistance of their wives, quite literally.